that she can take. Usually I'm not wearing Batman stuff in here. I don't know if you noticed my boat out there. Battleship. Um, I'm going to talk for Eden. Now he's in the water and I won't forget the... I'm scared of him. I do not use the term the alligator that often, even on my airboat tours. In the marsh. If you weren't in the swamp on an airboat, you were in the marsh. True me? These are marsh dragons. In a swamp, they're a swamp dragon. In a bayou, they're bio dragons. When in water with a dragon, your feet must be dragon at all times. And if your feet are dragon, a dragon can never turn his or her body 90 degrees sideways, grab you by the leg. But you lift that foot and allow a dragon to catch you doing it. They'll grab you by the leg and they'll start dragging you down. That's so why in water in the wild, you never lift your feet. You know, in the ocean, you know there's sharks and you know there's stingrays. Don't lift your feet up in that ocean again. Dragon. Ever hear the stingray shuffle? It's always better practice. Now, are you gonna pick this thing up like a house puppy? Is that what you're up to? Uh -huh. Oh my goodness. Look at this. <laughs> Ian. It's not a puppy, Ian. Give a hand for that. Woo! One thing I will tell you, I this trained a funny. lot of people over the years. Few people love alligators and respect them like Ian does, close to me. I would say even meets or exceeds my expectations. See how gentle he is with this animal? Because he knows if this animal decides to bite him, his chances on coming out of his game are much better treating the animal nicely. This is an intelligent creature. You roughhouse with a gator, you hurt one, and it gets a hold of you, it's going to hurt you back. Hey, Ray, that's the same technique I used to catch my girlfriend. <laughs> same technique to catch a girlfriend. Yeah, we're still together, too. You're still, I was going to say, did she ever get away from you? No, no, she's good. She's yeah. good. What would what'd you do? Get on her back and held her by the mouth like that? <laughs> that's a whole other show. Right? Okay, that's a whole other show. We'll, we'll stay away from there. Now, my job right now, I'll tell you, Ian isn't feeling that good. He's not strong. Hold on, don't be in a rush. I've done this where I've had 103, 104 degree flu. Being physically sick is one thing, but if you're not right up here, you don't do this. Um, so, he needs to be focused. Now I'm watching the side of the alligator's mouth. Everything here is going to go on body language, tense muscles. Ian reads it wrong, he's in trouble. Now, do you want to see him show you the big teeth? Yeah. Not very enthusiastic. Do you want to see those big teeth? Yeah. yeah. All right, here we go. Have your cameras ready on the count of three. One, two, three. There you go. There's <laughs> the big teeth. Look at those pearly whites. Nice job, Ian. All right, here we go for real. Hey. 40 top, 40 bottom. That gator wants to close his mouth, but he can't stop him. But he can prevent him from opening. Two fingers all you need. Now notice that glottis in the back of the mouth. Check that. If this alligator grabs prey, he's a surface attacker. You see, he can grab it under, but he can't swallow it if he does, he traps. That's what that valve is for. See the tongue in there? All on the upper maximum lobe mandible, you see little black dots. DPRs, dermal. They detect pressure waves moving the water. Uh -oh. I'm getting nervous. And you are loaded with sweat. Though. I'm just videotaping it. Wipe off. Now, um, I did a head trick one time. I stuck my head in an alligator's mouth, and a fly landed in it. And it clamped right up to the side. I thought I was blind. I wasn't. Pulled my scalp completely over. <gasps> Anything touches inside that mouth. You've heard Newton's theory, right? For every action, there's a reaction. Anything touches inside of that mouth when he gets playing games, it's slammed and shut. Carcaridon carcarius, the great white, can only close at 1,000 pounds per square inch. This gator's probably 1,500, large one, 2,000. He's going to show you bulldog. This is how he would catch an alligator alone. He needs two free hands to tie the jaws. The rope will be dangling in his teeth right now. Two free hands. Now he would wrap that rope entirely around, tying it off. That's how you catch an alligator alone. Give him a hand for that. Woo! How do you young people? Oh, excuse me. You young people, stay in school, get good grades. You won't have to do it again. And I do it. Um, <laughs> you ready? You done? Yeah, unless you guys want to see one more trick. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't sound very enthusiastic to me. Do you guys want to see one more? Real trick. Yeah! yeah. Volunteer. <laughs> Volunteer. All right. Um, now, 
you, you, you've seen that, right? Where the guy holds the jaws open, goes, sticks his head in the mouth? Yeah, seen that? On TV? Good, because you're not seeing it here. I'm not doing that. Good for you. Thank you. Okay, now, what is it's equally as risky. We call it face-off. Actually, it should be called chin-off. He's going to hold that upper maxilla losing, using his chin. He's going to let go of the jaws totally. Reading? Yeah, you are. <laughs> Reading body language here, you need to be careful. If anything goes wrong, you're going to be eating applesauce for a long time. Ooh. Whoa! Wasn't good. Ooh. Ian, back now. Give him a hand. I'm going to tell you what you just saw. Hold on. Get the jaws again. I want you all Now, you see how he aborted that? See what the gator did? It wasn't ready. See how the gator's fighting him? Tense muscles. An inexperienced alligator handler would have gotten nailed right there. Thank goodness he had a good teacher. Oh my God. All right. Let's see if he can. He's going to try it again. Now it's up to the gator. Remember, this gator doesn't clock into a time clock. Be careful, brother. One more time. Oh, hell no. Looks like he's missing teeth. It's relaxing. No tail. It's very calm. One hand's free. Waiting on the second one. All right. You guys want to see a trick? There it is. Face off. Come on. Oh my God. All right. Oh, 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 oh. 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 And he doesn't. Oh. 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 Hold on, Ian. Let me catch my breath. You know why? I'm not nervous. I don't care if he gets bit. No disrespect, brother. I love you. If he gets bit, then my job as a spotter is to get the gator off of him. Every time I've spotted people that got bit, I got bit a lot worse than the gator that bit them. All right. Ian, I'm going to give you the microphone. Keep your voice down. I want you to listen. I think that gator's used to this. Mm -hmm. well, thank you, Reed. I appreciate you being in here, No problem. Ah, thank you. Mr. Reed, right there, ladies and gentlemen. He goes. He's mad. I don't know what my wife did to me, but she gave me something where I lose my voice. I think that's what she was planning on doing. <laughs> Sounds like a good idea, huh, man? <laughs>